and sisters, brothers, it was a massive honour to have campaigned with another Europe is possible during the referendum, to have campaigned with them in our historic demonstrations against Donald Trump, and it's good to be back home with them today. Now, friends, it's been a long three years. I think we've all aged. I look at least 19. <laughs> I'm thinking about these, this turmoil. Let's talk about the turmoil this country's in. Because there are so many issues we should be talking about, like the existential threat of the climate emergency, like the children being driven into poverty at the fastest rate since 1988, at the housing crisis that is enveloping the lives of millions of people, of public services being decimated, the NHS, the welfare state, and our education services all under assault. And yet there is Brexit. A black hole sucking everything in. Enough. We've got to fight, and we've got to fight to talk about the issues and injustices that have brought this country to the very precipice, and that's why we're campaigning here today. Now, friends, who's evils? Let's talk about evils. As I said, I campaign with another Europe is possible. And I remember that day as we will all remember to the day we die. We gathered, I gathered there with Michael at St. Bankers Station. We were on our way to Nottingham for a rally for Remain in the Fall. But we had to decide to cancel it there on the spot because a text message had been sent confirming that Joe Cox, the MP for Batley and Spen, had been murdered by a fascist terrorist who days later entered his name in court as death betrayed his freedom for Britain. And then days after that, Nigel Farage had the temerity, the audacity to stare in those TV cameras and say that Brexit had been won without a single shot being fired. We have to drive these vultures and bigots to the fringes where they belong. And that's what we're going to buy for. And we see this everywhere. The beast of fascism which we thought we had defeated with so much blood and treasure in World War II has reared its head again all over the Western world. And unless we have an inspiring alternative, then they will win. And that's why we have to fill the vacuum with an optimistic vision of hope. Now, friends, there will be a series of personal journeys. I have my own. As some of you know, having probably spelt time heckling me on the television screens. <laughs> when we lost the referendum, I thought, that was tragic, but we should try and make it work. We should have a compromise, it was a narrow result. Let's have a close relationship and talk about the issues that I spoke about that matter. But friends, that position is dead. It has been butchered by Tory Brexiteers who have no interest in compromise and demonised us as saboteurs and traitors and enemies of the people and now have the front to suggest that the only genuine Brexit that actually is Brexit is a no-deal Brexit, a self-inflicted economic shock which will leave us crawling on our hands and knees to the European Union in an even more weakened and pathetic state than this country's already been reduced in. Nobody voted for no deal. Nobody here and nobody in the country. And that's why we must return to the British people with a vote and we will campaign for remain and reform. But finally, friends, just because they didn't want a bridge to divide doesn't mean we respond in kind. Yes, there were those who voted for Brexit who were not oppressed by any stretch of the imagination. Like Sir Robin, not Sir, Robin Burnham, a former che a cheerleader for Augusto Pinochet, a man who bankrolls, campaigns for Brexit and against free movement whilst employing at his prestigious private members' clubs migrants on poverty wages as he scapegoats them for the injustices that he caused. But millions of people who voted for leave are not like Robin Burley. Many of them stare at ceilings at night, panicking over unopened energy bills. They skip hot meals to make sure their children are fed. They worry about paying the rent. They fear about public services in collapse. No, we do not believe, we do not agree, and we are honest with the solution. But we must agree with the problems, because unless we rid this country of what Theresa May called the burning injustices she poured petrol on herself, then we will never be free of turmoil. So let's unite to 
build a new social order, a new Britain, free of injustice, and unite with people across Europe to build a new Europe, a people's Europe, a workers' Europe that stands up for the majority and takes on the climate crisis and tax avoidance and all of the injustices that we all are here to fight. So let's stand together, let's fight together, and let's win this battle together. So let's Thanks, Owen.